Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, big news, I haven't actually gone to hell yet for the stuff I was saying yesterday. Um, not too sure why that is, I can only assume it's because God's still busy white knuckling it over the sounds of the little children he's given cancer and AIDS to. Um, so I'm going to do another list of jokes, I thought I'd start off by doing a sort of child friendly joke first off, so um, without further ado, let's start. What is three foot high and can't turn around in a corridor? A toddler with a spear in his throat. <sighs> what do African children and flowers have in common? They both would die after a while without water. What's the difference between a cow and the Holocaust? You stop milking the cow after about 70 years. Now, I know what you people are probably thinking. Oh my gosh, can he really say that? Um, that's an idiotic question. Yes, I can, I just did. The question you should be asking is, should he say that? My answer is probably no. In fact, no, we shouldn't joke about the Holocaust. It was a terrible thing. A lot of people were affected by it. I personally had a granddad who died in one of the concentration camps. Yeah. He, uh, he got drunk and broke his neck falling from a guard tower. What do Pink Floyd and Princess Diana have in common? Their last great hit was The Wall. What's the hardest thing about dumping a Japanese girl? You have to drop the bomb twice before she gets the message. <laughs> um, you know, no, I'm not going to joke about that. That was actually a horrible tragedy that took place and it affected the lives of not only the people who were killed by it and the family of the people, but like, you know, people who were living hundreds of miles away. I mean, some of them looked like they got caught squinting while the wind was crossing. <laughs> but I mean, let's give it to the Japanese people. They have overcome a lot and they've got a lot of good things going for them. I mean, for starters, let's look at Japanese women. Now they are a pedophile's wet dream. I'm being completely serious because they look 12 years old until they hit about 60. Then of course they get that sort of melted Raxacore look like from the uh, Fukushima plant. Terrible, terrible tragedy that was. Um, one of my friends lost his girlfriend in that she was swept away by the tidal wave. I don't think he appreciated my advice though, because I turned around to him after a few days and I said, never mind mate, there's plenty of more Japanese girls in the sea. What do you call an old man with Parkinson's sitting in a sauna? Shake and bake. What's the difference between a Jew and a bullet in a faulty gun? A bullet has more chance of coming out of the chamber. What was the last thing to go through the mind of the suicide jumper at 9-11? His shin bones. What is a down person, uh, a down syndrome person's favourite meal? Their shoulder. But seriously, I don't know why they call them downies the whole time. I mean, I've never seen people who look happier in all my life. What's the difference between a choke fetish and necrophilia? about five minutes. So there you have it guys, that was enough round of jokes that I am definitely going to hell for. Um, stay tuned for more throughout the night, tomorrow I will be eating a shitload of the vodka gummy bears and so there's going to be a lot of drunk videos as well tomorrow. Um, so for now, I hope you guys have a good night, love you all, and stay off drugs.